Hello everyone, welcome to my another video for Visum Alternate Index. In this video, I am going to explain how we can create an alternate index. First, we have to create KSDS space cluster. In our example, userid.visum.ksds2 is the base cluster. It consists of following five records. All these records will be copied when we create alternate index. Now I am moving down to show how to define alternate index with no upgrade option. The define alternate index statement is used to define alternate index. In our example, user id vsam.ksds2.x is alternate index name. It is created by relating user id.vesm.ksds2. Dataset. Now, let's move down to see how to build the alternate index. To build the alternate index, you have to use build index in the control card. Input DD name should be your base cluster name and the output DD name should be your alter name index dataset name. Note that after creating build index the record has been copied into alternate index. We can do any order in creating path for alternate index that is before or after build index. Let us see how to define a path. Define path statement is used to define a path for alternate index. You have to mention alternate index name followed by path in the name. Path entry should be your alternate index name. New let's move a bit and perform the repro to copy the data from physical sequential file to VSAM file. PS file contains the below two records. So when you execute the repro, the data will be copied into the base cluster. However, these two records are not copied into the alternate index. Because we have defined alternate index with no upgrade option. So we need to manually load the content KSDS2 into X. If we had defined the X with upgrade option, then we would have got 7 records in the output alternate index dataset. So let's alter the alternate index with upgrade option. This option is used to update. Delete the X dataset automatically when the related Vism dataset is updated. After submitting build index for the above alternate index we have the below records in both X2 and KSDS2. Let us assume we have updated the record CCCC1111 in KSDS2, then the record is automatically updated in AIX2 also. Look at the output of alternate index for the reference. That's all now. If you like the video, please feel free to subscribe and like the video. Also, share this video with your friends. Thanks a lot for your support.